Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. It's another day and another beautiful view over Rome. And after finishing the previous episode, I did some more off-camera work. Um, since I liberated another Borgia Tower, I was able to renovate another Arts Merchant and the Arts Merchant sold me another treasure map. So I spent some time collecting more treasures and then I used the money to renovate um, more shops and stuff. So I'm currently at 59%. Um, I have mostly invested into shops. I haven't touched the landmark so far. Apparently I can buy landmarks, but they are very expensive, so um, I think I'm going to keep that for last. I also got a treasure map for the Vatican. I think that was another shop quest that I was able to finish. Haven't done that so far. Um, I'm guessing that area is still restricted, so I don't know, maybe some other day I will uh, deal with that. But other than that, um, the area is pretty much picked clean. We have a few uh, treasures on the outskirts because I can't go there yet. So yeah, um, it's looking pretty good. And today I would like to have a look at this, um, the Templar layer. We haven't done any Templar layers in this game so far, so I came here to check this out. And I think after that um, I'm going to go back to the main mission. But first, let's have a look at this over here. Um, I think I saw the door earlier over here. Yes, it looks very unassuming. Let's have a look inside. Shopaholic, find the Templar Strongbox. <laughs> For full synchronization, kill only your target. Okay, that's a new one. What is it, Capitano? Shh, speak softly. I am about to make you rich. I just purchased a key from a man in the market that opens the Torre della Milizie. How does <laughs> that make me rich? The man claims there is treasure in the topmost room. The stairs have partially collapsed. I need your help getting a... We are no longer alone. <laughs> so you will bring the ladder to my wife? Yes, of course I will. You are such a good friend to my family. I owe you a reward for your assistance. I look forward to such a gift, Capitano. Okay. Follow the Templars. So is this um, the tower with a treasure on top? I actually looked on top of it, but um, I didn't find any, so I guess it's inside the tower. Oh yeah, and um, I actually have a new cape, or oh, well, new color anyway. After spending so much money on rebuilding Rome, I figured Ezio deserves a little something as well, so I gave him a red cape. But um, yeah, let's look around now. I need to find a way to get out of here. Well, I'm not getting up here. Okay, this might be a way. Um, oh, can I follow the pigeons again? Is this how it works? Probably. Alright. This should work. Be ready with a ladder tonight. What about my reward? Assassino! Uh -huh. Whoa, did did you just throw an apple at me? Um okay, I'm supposed to catch this no, guy now. We will stop it. Um Well I guess I'm not supposed to kill anyone except my target, which would be him, I suppose, so. Um, I'm just trying to avoid these guys. <laughs> okay. And I can avoid this one as well. Alright. 
Okay, this is actually pretty neat. <laughs> I'm just supposed to look for shortcuts and alternative routes to follow this guy. Oops, well... I'm not sure if this was a good way to go. Oh, but he's actually waiting for me up here. Very good. So... I can I can kill him though, right? Of course, as usual, I won't be able to do that because I never catch these guys. Oh, I know I'm stuck behind this wall. That's no good. Ooh, uh, where did he go to? Can I can I climb up here? Okay. Um, did I make it? Cazzo! Stay away from me, assassino! Okay, um, I guess I have to continue my hunt. He's pretty good though. Ooh, um, well, I found a shortcut. <laughs> I didn't take the ladder. Well, you are good, you are good, but not good enough. So I got the key. And now I need to use the key, I suppose. It's somewhere over here. Um, but I don't know where exactly. Okay, this is it. All right. Oh, this is a tower. Yeah, this place has seen better days. Climb the Torre de Milizia. All right. So now it has become a jumpy puzzle, right? Okay, um, can't go here, but I guess I can climb up here. Can you grab that thing? Okay, you can. And ooh, that was kind of impressive. And I'm going to assume the pigeons tell me where to go again. Very nice. Oh, you want me to do a wall jump, right? Okay, let's do that. And I guess I can just jump over this like that. Alright, nice wall jump. Um, can I climb up here? Oh, do you see that? There's a treasure over there. There's a treasure on the other side of this and I want it. But I don't know how to get there. Um... Oh well. I, I actually have enough money. I probably don't really need it. I might be able to jump backwards and then... grab something, but I, I don't... Yeah, I might be able to grab that flag. There we go. So if I now climb over here... Alright, there we go. For once I actually got one of these hidden treasures. I mean, the money isn't even worth it, but... Um, I guess you can make use of the items. So, um, what's the best way to get up here? Um, I'm not sure if he will actually fall onto that ledge, but I guess he will grab onto this. Alright, so we are going to do this again. So, how? I'm not, I'm not getting up here. 
So maybe I do have to wall jump. And then maybe like climb all the way around here. Oh! Oh! I didn't know Etsy could do that. Well, that's actually a lot easier. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I already hear the sound of treasures. <laughs> Claim the Templar treasure. Okay, we made it. Let's pick up all the loot before we go for the big box. Um, nope. I want you to pick up this treasure. And now what's in the big box? <laughs> Such a big treasure and he only takes like one coin. <laughs> so I got like 4,000 florins. That's not even that much. I make like almost 10,000 in 20 minutes by now. But oh well, I made it and I got 100%. Very nice. <laughs> Alright, yes, I remember this. I've been here before and I looked for the treasure but it was inside the tower, obviously. <laughs> okay, let's go down. And yeah, I guess we can... You know, as a matter of fact, there's a card as an assignment right over here. So maybe we will do that and then we will continue with the main mission. Ooh, look at that impressive nice <laughs> haven't seen any of these before here oh by the way while I was running around um, off camera I found another harlequin I found another harlequin and apparently you are supposed to beat up the harlequin so I did so make that two out of five but yeah, since we're here, oh. why not renovate some of the, the shops of in the area? And now, let's have a look at that courtesan assignment. So, what do you need me to do? I hope I'm not supposed to beat up anyone. Buongiorno Ezio. We are taught to seduce Roma's most powerful men, but not all of us have been able to resist their charms. Follow Giulietta. I suspect she will lead you to her benefactor. Okay. Old habits die hard. Follow Giulietta to locate her benefactor and then kill him. For full synchronization, assassinate the target from a hiding spot. Okay, you mean like a haystack? Alright. Follow Julietta. Okay, first of all, I need to find Julietta. And she seems to be somewhere around here. Let's see. Okay, I found her. So let's follow her in a good distance. Not sure if she's going to turn around. Oh, she actually is. Okay. So I need to be careful. She might notice me otherwise. Okay, apparently she's going up here. Let me see. Oh, um, not sure if she can see me over here. 
pretty far away, but let's not risk it. And I might be safer on the roofs. Oh, what is she doing? She's turning around, apparently. Okay. And now that horse is blocking her way. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Okay, but now she's on the move again. Are you suffering the infernal swamp malaria? Well, I've crushed mosquitoes. All right, let's hide in here and watch her movements. And again, might be safer to be on the roofs. Okay. She's going quite quite a long way to meet her benefactor. But I have a very good position here. Alright. But I'm still not seeing my real target. She seems to be very suspicious though. She's turning around like every 20 meters. Oh, I bet it's him. Yes, it's him. And well, I'm supposed to kill him from a hiding spot and there's a well behind him. So I guess that's what I will do. Let's go down here and try to jump inside that well. All right. This is not going to be hard at all. There we go. <laughs> These guys um, are a little bit surprised. <laughs> okay, let's talk to her. I did not know the Bastardo was a traitor. You are no longer welcome at the Rosa in Fiore. Okay, well, that was interesting. So what exactly did that benefactor do? I don't know, but he's at the bottom of his well now. <laughs> Alright, we finished another mission and again 100%, so my spotless record remains so far. And yeah, now I would like to go back and do some main mission stuff. It's at the Assassin's Hideout, so maybe I'm just going to take the tunnel over here it's going to be a bit faster. Alright, let's go. Oh well, I'm um, not sure if I can just drop down here without getting hurt. There we go. And apparently we have a fast travel spot right over here. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is a landmark. Basilica de Massenzo. But yeah, they are kind of pricey. So <laughs> I think I'm going to wait until I start buying those. Okay, let's go back to the hideout. Where is Machiavelli? I could not find him. I brought the Contessa here. Caterina. Care to tell us where you have been? Looking for Ezio. What of Cesare and Rodrigo? Cesare rode off before I could get close to him. And Rodrigo was somewhere else entirely. That is odd. Rodrigo is usually at the Castello. Very odd indeed. La Volpe what is still waste. suspicious, huh? No offense. None taken. With Cesare gone to Urbino, we must build our forces. I thought we intended to strike now. Impossible. Cesare commands a massive army in Romagna. 
You would never reach him. I say we work here, in Roma. Erode the Borgia's influence while restoring our own. And in fact, I want to begin right now. Volpe, bring Claudia and Bartolomeo here. Machiavelli, meet me outside. Take care of her. Okay, so what do I have in mind, Ezio? Look, the Borgia rob everything from the people to maintain power. What do you intend to do? We will recruit him to our cause. You cannot be serious. To win this war, Machiavelli, we need loyal soldiers. By recruiting enemies of the state, we arm those who have been disarmed by the Borgia. Go then. Recruit our first novices. Okay. Well, let's do that. Men of the people. Fight with two citizens of Rome against the oppression of the Borgia and recruit them for the Assassin's Guild. Full synchronization. Do not lose more than five health squares. Alright. Let's do it. Recruit two citizens of Rome. Oh, I see. Is this what's going on here? Well, I guess I'm going to help this guy. I just need to kill the soldiers, I'm going to assume. Which is pretty easy if they have their backs turned towards me. <laughs> I'm just a little bit worried to kill the civilians here. Like, yeah, I'm hitting the civilians, that's not good. But apparently um, we made it, so I need to talk to him. Assassin! The liberation of Roma has begun. If you choose to flee, do so now. But if you choose to fight, stand with me against the Borgia. I am tired of hiding in the shadows. I will join you! Then seek Niccolo Machiavelli on Isola Tiberina, and we will make you one of us. Their lies will no longer mask your truth. Assassin recruited. This citizen just joined the Assassin's Guild. Oh, we have a new Assassin's recruit. But I need two of them. So, where do I find the next one? Oh, um, there's actually a whole lot of them. Recruit assassin. Okay, I guess I'm just going for the nearest one over here. And I have a new symbol under my health bar. I have no idea what that means. Hopefully it's something good. Okay, assist the citizen. Where is the citizen? Um, well, they might be somewhere on top of this. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's take care of these guys. Well, if you're not going to attack, then I will attack. Oh look, it's a lady, right? It is. The liberation of Roma has begun. Thank you. Your courageous example I would gladly follow. Okay, nice, nice. I got two new assassins. And I got full synchronization. So, Assassin's Guild challenge is now available. What does that mean? And I have a new... Ooh, my map looks very different suddenly. Assassin Tower. What does that mean? Pigeon Coops. Okay. Yeah, we have a bunch of these assassin towers now. Are these like the former Borgia towers and now they are assassin towers? I don't know. But they might be. I don't remember the exact location. Yeah, there was a Borgia tower over here and now it's an assassin tower. And the P 
pigeon coops are now mar marked on my map. So, I don't know, maybe we want to check out one of those. Because apparently, something new has appeared. Um, but hang on a second, I'll grab the poster over here. So, can I actually do anything with these towers now that they are marked as assassin towers? Oh, uh, there's a guard that noticed me. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently, these towers belong to me now. Fair enough. But yeah, let's uh, check out that pigeon coop. I mean, the pigeon coops have been here before, but they were just for, like, contracts, right? Oh, I need to be down here, right? Yes. New recruit! You just recruited a new potential assassin. Primo Panna has been added to your assassin's guild. Okay, that's the guy we just recruited. You have been awarded a new assassin signal. A new signal is awarded for the first, fourth and sixth recruit added to the assassin's guild. Signals are subtracted when recruits die or are sent away on contracts. Okay? You just recruited a new potential assassin. Adele Sotzi has been added to your assassin's guild. Okay, that's the girl. So, what exactly is this? View, manage and upgrade the skills and equipment of the assassin's guild. Send your assassin recruits on missions to increase their XP and earn money. Okay, well, let's have a look. So, I have Primo Penna and Adele Sotzi. And they're basically like level zero at the moment, right? Um, okay, so what can I do with them? Can I like upgrade their stuff? Um, apparently not. Maybe they need to earn some skill points first before I can upgrade the equipment. But I can change the color apparently. Alright, um, you're going to be crimson. And I guess we can give her a different color. You can be emerald. Okay. So, I have two assassins. Um, and I can give them contracts. One contract available. Difficulty 3. Okay. Do we have... Okay, we have a very easy one here, so maybe... I can send one of them on a very easy mission because, I mean, it's their first mission, right? So they kind of need to start something easy. A Templar spy has infiltrated the city. Show him the way out. Okay. So if I... Ah, okay. 100%. So it's almost certain that he will succeed doing this, right? Okay, um, let's send him on this mission. Initiate contract mission. Any assassin's recruit sent will be unavailable for three minutes. Odds of success 100%. Let's do it. Okay, um, so this is almost a bit like a war table. So I get missions and I can send my assassins to do them and then they will return with stuff for me. I see, I see. Now oh, this is interesting. Oh, sorry. So we're going to uh, have that one assassin do a contract for us. And I guess I can like recruit a few more. I mean, we have one over here. So let's recruit maybe one more assassin. 
The more the merrier, and um, I stole some money again accidentally. That just keeps happening to me. <laughs> it just keeps happening to me. So can I just recruit as many assassins as I like? Or is there a certain limit? Okay, um, where is the citizen in need? Alright, over here. Okay, got this guy. Alright, that was easy. The liberation of Roma has begun. Many thanks for your aid, but they will hunt me down. I cannot remain. Will you take me with you, Signore? Well, you can join my guild. Oh, and I got an achievement for that. <laughs> I guess because I recruited like three of them. All right, all right. This is interesting. This is very interesting. So, um, yeah, we have potential recruits all over town. Um. And I think I have like a few normal missions somewhere. Like we have one assassination contract over here. And since the episode already is kind of long, I suppose um, this might be just long enough for this episode. So I'm going to find a tunnel to travel over there and we're going to do some assassination. Oh, that guy is still running around. Alright, we got our assassination contract in here, apparently. You just recruited a new potential assassin. Rocco Matucci has been added to your assassin skill. Right. So, I have three of them now. Have I, like, another very easy contract that I can do already? We have one over here. Assassinate a thief. Let's let's do this as well. I guess she can do it. 98% I think that's good enough for me. So let's send her on this mission. And yeah. But I'm actually here for um the mission. Right, serves turf. Farmers have a hard enough time turning a profit in times of war, but Romans must deal with the Borgia taking their hefty share. Put an end to this injustice, Niccolo. Assassinate three guards with a hidden blade. Seems straightforward. So I just have to assassinate three guards with my blade. That's like my daily bread and butter, right? Okay, we already have one of them over here riding on his high horse so can I maybe even assassinate him from here that might be a little bit too far huh? oh I can call my assassins but I'm supposed to assassinate him myself right with my hidden blade so I guess I should not be doing that well, apparently um, Ezio is not going to air assassinate him from over here. Okay, apparently my first mission was successful. Very nice. Yeah, I'm not I'm not able to air assassinate him from here. He's not logging on to him properly. So let me find another place get close to him I mean he's just literally riding in circles I can punch him but I don't want to punch him I need to kill him with my blade this is actually a little bit more difficult than I thought I mean it would be easy to just use a crossbow or a pistol so maybe I, I have to actually go over there and like 
get him off the horse and then get, there we go I think that's actually kind of easy <gasps> all right so um, we killed one of them oh we have a bunch of them and they're all on horses oh we have six and I only need to kill three of them with my hidden blade and I can like kill the rest of them with a pistol maybe all right I understand this now. So let's see if we can find one that can be easily killed from above. There we go. Well, this guy is putting up a bit of a resistance. Okay, let's throw him down and now let's kill him with a blade. Okay, and I can like kill the rest of them with a pistol for example. Right? So let's do that. There we go. And there we go. Very nice. <laughs> okay. 100% let's see if these guys have any interesting stuff and apparently um, my recruits have returned from their missions so I may actually want to check out oh well that guy just noticed me then you have to die as well I'm sorry um, no I actually didn't want to do that I wanted to loot. Alright. Oh, and these guys have just been watching. Well, I guess they only help me if I pay them, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go back to that pigeon coop. And uh, check out the uh, uh, contracts we just finished, right? I think the pigeon coop was over here was it not yes so let's see mission successful assault a spy was complete completed successfully so he got 10 xp and a bit of money okay and he's now level 2 additional skill points are now available to reach the next level accumulate 20 xp and this one was uh, successful as well she got xp she leveled up nice so um I can now like upgrade your stuff yes I see let's do the same over here more armor for you and you're sh you're still a freshling let's give you a different color as well and maybe we can find a contract for you as well an easy one uh, not that Um, no, I would like difficulty one. Moscow. I can actually send them to Moscow. I saw the historian. <laughs> what did the poor historian did to you? Okay, let's assault a historian. The Templars must not be allowed to rewrite history, convince their scholar to abandon his project. Well, <laughs> that's one way to convince him by assaulting him. But <laughs> Okay, um, let's do that and I guess I'm going to put him on the job so he can earn a few XP as well. Let's do it. Okay, um, and I mean we have a few more easy ones so may as well send out the other assassins, right? So sh she can go on this mission. 
Initiate contract mission, yes. And let's see if I find any other easy ones in Paris, maybe. Steel intelligence. We have knowledge of a Templar captain within the city. Sneak into his office and study his maps. We need to know where his plans to move his troops when he is called to battle. Okay, let's do it. So I guess you can do this one. There we go. All right. So, oh, I see. I have sent all my assassins on missions, so now I don't have that um, signal under my health bar anymore. But that's okay because um, I kind of want to end the episode anyway here, and. I guess in the next one I will actually go and continue with the main story. Um, we still have this one over here, Copernico, so maybe I'm going to check that out. But other than that, I don't have any current side missions. Well, except those restored memories, um, I guess I'll keep those for later. Oh, and we have one more layer of Romulus, so I may actually want to do that too. But yeah, um, I think uh, for today it's enough, so let's call it a day as usual. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.